stormy raindrop Where does he go once he falls from the clouds? Do you know from your lawn to the street To the sewer to the street How he hopes you'll help him stay clean But when you over fertilize He gets frosted in his eyes Oh no, there's a poop Please use a pooper scoop When oil and candy wrappers End up in the drain the Wildlife feel the pain. He's stormy, the raindrop. Where does he go once he falls from the clouds? One day, Stormy the raindrop began a journey down the Chesapeake Bay watershed. It all started when he fell from a storm cloud to the ground. Hi, I'm Stormy the raindrop. Where are we? My name is Sally Mander. We are in Fairfax County, and this spring flowing next to us is my home. The spring water looks nice and clean. Well, most of the time the water is nice and clean, but sometimes rain washes things like dog poop and fertilizer off the lawn and into my home. That's awful. Yes. P.U. Pollution stinks, and it affects everyone who lives downstream, too. You should go talk to old Mr. Turtle. He can tell you more. Pollution stinks. Can you find in the picture at least three pollutants that should not be in the stream? That's right. Motor oil, a shoe, and the plastic bag should not be in the stream. Well, this, this must be old Mr. Turtle's house. Hello? Is anyone home? Hi. Sally Mander said to ask you what it's like living downstream. Well, Sonny, it's not like the good old days. Back then, this stream was clean, even when it rained. But people are paving more and more of the watershed. Building roads and sidewalks and parking lots. All those hard surfaces keep rainwater from soaking slowly into the ground. Where does the rainwater go? It all runs off into the stream instead, which wears away the stream banks and clouds the water with silt, and when the silt settles out, it covers the rocky stream bottom with muck. Gosh, what else, Mr. Turtle? Go downstream to the river and visit the sunfish school. They'll tell you more. Thanks, Mr. Turtle, I will. Stormy dove into the water and flowed downstream. Did you know that turtles can live for more than 100 years? When Stormy reached the sunfish school, he asked the fish to describe how things that happened upstream affected them. Silt from runoff and erosion makes the water muddy, and it's hard to breathe. Dog poop and fertilizer pollute the water, too. They contain nutrients, and too many nutrients makes lots of slimy algae grow. Ew, Ew yes, gross! And when people drop things or spill stuff on the ground, those things end up in the stream, too. What kind of things? Motor oil. Soda bottles. Plastic bags. And everything gets carried downstream to the river. Come with us, and we'll show you. What's a group of fish called? A school of fish. Some of the different fish that you can find in the Chesapeake Bay are pumpkin seed and bluegill. Why is the water salty here? Well, hello there, honey. You're in an estuary where fresh water from the river 
and salt water from the Chesapeake Bay mix. The bay connects to the Atlantic Ocean. Come and see. Mama Bass led Stormy from the mouth of the river into the Chesapeake Bay. They stopped beside a patch of underwater plants. Lots of animals hide their babies in these underwater plants. But silt in the water and algae on the surface block the sunlight that plants need to grow. Sometimes silt covers them up. And if the plants die, sugar, we have no place to raise our babies. Drat! That's Mr. Krabby. He can tell you more about the bay. Bye. So why are you so upset, Mr. Krabby? Bah! There's too much algae because of the nutrients upstream. When the algae die, they sink to the bottom and rot. That uses up oxygen in the water. I have to keep moving to find places where I can breathe. Phooey! <coughs> <coughs> See that? My friend the oysters can't move somewhere else. And the silt in the water settles to the bottom and covers them up. Lots of them get sick. I can't believe Stormy it. Stormy waved goodbye to Mr. Krabby and the oysters and swam to the surface. Did you know that the Chesapeake Bay is the largest estuary in North America? Can you name the six states that are part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed? Delaware, Maryland, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. Why is Mr. Krabby so crabby? Pollution encourages algae to grow. We can help Mr. Krabby and his friends by not polluting our lakes and streams with trash, oil, or fertilizer. Excuse me, could you please tell me the way to the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going there now. <laughs> Grab my foot and I'll take you. Whee! This is fun! And the bay looks so pretty from up here. Oh, yes, sirree. It's beautiful. People need to appreciate how special the Chesapeake Bay is and to take <laughs> good care of it. Look, we're over the beach now. Go ahead, jump! Bye! Do fish breathe oxygen? Fish pump oxygen into their bodies and water out through their gills by opening and closing their mouths while swimming. Welcome to the Atlantic Ocean. Who are you and how did you get here? I'm Stormy the Raindrop. I've just traveled all the way from the headwaters to the end of the watershed. Wow, that's an amazing journey. What did you learn there, Stormy? I learned that all springs, streams, and rivers in the Bay watershed flow to the Chesapeake Bay estuary and finally to the Atlantic Ocean. But pollutants that get in the water end up here too. What else have you learned? Everything that lives in the water and on land needs a healthy watershed. That's the most important thing I've learned. From the headwaters to the ocean, we all live downstream, and we can all work together to help keep our waters clean and healthy. And so, Stormy took to heart the many lessons about the Chesapeake Bay that he learned from his new friends, and continued on his journey to teach others how to care for their own watershed. Yeah! He's Stormy the Raindrop, where does he go once he falls from the clouds? Do you know from your lawn to the street, to the sewer, to the stream? Fertilize, he gets frosted in his eyes. Oh no, there's dog poop. Please use a pooper scoop when oil and can.